Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about how to enable the new visuals for the taskbar in Windows 11, the build at 25,158. So for those of you who didn't watch my previous video in which I showed you what is new and what has changed in this build, well, one of the new features or changes in this build is that Microsoft added some different visual styles for the taskbar related to the search button. So as you can see right now, this is one of them. It actually looks really, really nice. Unfortunately, these new features or these new things that Microsoft is adding are not 100% set to be launched sometime. So if you want to test them out, now is the time because maybe in the next build, Microsoft will announce that these are no longer a thing. That's pretty sad in my opinion, but this way we can test out new features and new things. Now, what do you need to know about these new visuals? Of course, you need to be on the latest build from the dev channel. And also there are a few types of visual changes. In this video, I'm going to show you five of them, how to enable them one by one and how how they look. So thanks to a Discord user from my server who told me all this information, I'm going to be able to present it to you in this video. Of course, if you enjoy videos like this, don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. This video is sponsored by SoftwareKeep.com. SoftwareKeep is a Microsoft certified gold partner who sells only 100% genuine Microsoft software. SoftwareKeep provides provides lifetime and subscription products such as Microsoft Office, Microsoft 365, Windows, antivirus for PC and Apple users. They don't use robots in their service and offer a full service 360 degree software buying experience along with helpful contents of how to tips and tricks to help those in need and online chat to answer anything related to the product faster. You can use the code TB15 on the entire store. Click on proceed to checkout and you have various different payment methods that you can choose from. The link to software keep is in the description below and don't forget to use the promo code TB15 for a 15% discount on the entire website. Let's continue with the video. First of all, of course, we're going to need to install Vive Tool. We're going to have the download link for Vive Tool in the article down below in the description. Go into this page, click on the latest version.zip, open it up, click on Extract All, and then the location, click on Browse and look for System32. So that would be this PC, Local Disk C, Windows, then scroll down to System32, select it, click on Select Folder, and then click on Extract continue and we should be good to go after a few seconds. Now after we've extracted five tool there, all we need to do is to open up CMD as administrator. So open up the search box, type in there CMD, right click on CMD and then click on run as administrator. On user account control, click on yes. In CMD, we're going to have to paste a command in which we're going to change only one value to access another variant of that visual change. So this is the command that we're going to use in this video. As you can see it, it's the new command line syntax from the new version of five tool. It is five tool slash name slash ID and slash variant and we have five different variants. We're gonna go for the first one and we're gonna copy this command and then paste it here and then press enter. As you can see successfully set feature configuration and we are good to go. Now to see the change we can either restart our computer or we can restart the file explorer. So I'm gonna right click on the start menu and then click on task manager and I'm going to restart the windows explorer restart task and as you can see this is the first visual change basically the first type that we can enable using Using Vive tool, it looks something like this. If you click on the search button, it gets this blue gradient, which actually looks pretty nice. And also, if we change from the taskbar settings the taskbar behavior to the center, we're gonna see that this will remain the same and it looks really, really nice in my opinion. No other changes, only this. So, I think this is pretty cool. We're gonna test each and every variant with the taskbar behavior to center and left to see if there are any changes. Now, let's go for the second variant. Just change the variant to two and then paste paste your command here and then press enter. Again, we're going to open up task manager and then we're going to restart the file explorer. Now, this is the second variant. As you can see, nothing is changed, but only if you click on the search box, you're going to see that the text will disappear and we will only have the icon, which has a pretty nice little animation. And we can again go to taskbar settings and set it to the center and see if anything changes. But I don't think anything will change. As you can see, it actually looks pretty nice, pretty similar. The first and the second variant and the second as you can see we no longer have the text when we click on it only the blue gradient with the search icon let's now go for the third variant 
and then paste the command in here and of course restart Windows Explorer. This is the third variant as you can see here. It looks really really nice. I think this one is my favorite from them all because I like this new search icon. If you click on it you have that nice little globe rolling animation. Basically that's it but it looks really really nice in my opinion. It is my favorite. If we change the taskbar behavior nothing should change. It is basically the same but it looks really really nice. Let's change it now to the fourth variant and then press enter in CMD and again restart the file explorer to see the changes. As you can see th this is another variant, another icon basically. We have the search icon near a globe icon and if we click on it again that rolling animation really really nice. Of course if I move it to the center nothing should change it should be the same. But yeah this one also looks pretty good but in my opinion the third one is still better. Let's now go for the fifth variant just change the number to five and then again restart the file explorer for the changes to take effect. Let's see how the final variant would look and as you can see this is it it has the icon and also another text which says search the web if we click on it again that same blue gradient that looks really really nice and of course if we move it to the center the same thing the same gradient and the same animations so basically these are all the variants and also the new visual animations to the, to the taskbar in this new dev channel build i showed you them all of course you're going to have the download link or for vive tool and also all the commands listed with images in the article down below in the description. As you can see, I quickly switched over to the third one because it is my favorite. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBased. Until next time, have a nice day.